Primaries are on Donald Trump's mind tonight as we continue to follow the breaking news with Trump being kicked off the primary ballot in the state of Colorado. The former president tonight is calling for someone, anyone, he says, to primary an ultra-conservative Republican congressman. His target, Texas Congressman Chip Roy. His offense seems to be his support for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in the 2024 Republican race. On Truth Social today, the former president wrote, quote, has any smart and energetic Republican in the great state of Texas decided to run in the primary against rhino Congressman Chip Roy? For the right person, he is very beatable. If interested, let me know. I'm joined tonight by Congressman Chip Roy. Congressman, thank you uh, for being here. Let me just start with uh, asking, when is the filing deadline for the primary in your race? Yeah, well, somebody didn't get the memo. The filing deadline was uh, last week in Texas. And, uh, you know, look, I'm privileged and blessed uh, not to have a primary opponent this time. I did get three primary opponents in uh, 2021 when I voted to uh, certify the electors of something that I thought was constitutionally appropriate. And I still won uh, with more votes than any other member of Congress in Texas. I mean, look, most people just want us to go do our job, seek the truth wherever it may lead. I'm an unapologetic conservative, unapologetic defender of Donald Trump when he does things that I agree with. Um, and, and for example, right now, I'm critical of the opinion out of the uh, Colorado Supreme Court. I don't think that's following the Constitution. I think that's stretching the bounds of the 14th Amendment unconstitutionally. Um, but I'm proudly supporting Ron DeSantis. He's a good man, a friend, someone I've known for a decade. And for some reason, that gets under President Trump's skin. And this is exactly what the American people are tired of. They want us to focus on the job at hand. They want us to secure the border, stop spending money we don't have, make sure we have a strong military. Uh, do the things that they want us to do to get their lives back on track so people can achieve the American dream. That's Ron DeSantis. He's been doing it in Florida. He'll now do it for the country. In the post, I noticed that Trump called you, as I just said there, a, a rhino, a Republican in name yeah. only for those who are not familiar with the term. I mean, what is your response to, to not only Trump saying that, but when he says that, then all of you know MAGA in that orbit also is calling you a Republican in name only? Yeah, well, first of all, that's not something that I'm going to spend a whole lot of time worrying about. I'm focused on the job at hand, being a member of Congress, doing the things I just told you. But, but the point, it kind of answers itself. Pretty much everybody in the conservative world who understands what we do in Washington knows that I'm a conservative with a strong record. I have voted against Biden more than virtually everybody member of Congress. I have a strong, you know, conservative 100% score from Conservative Review, 98% from Heritage Action, you know, pro-life community. I can go down the list, but it kind of doesn't matter. It's, it misses the point. The point is, this is about, we don't, we don't have princes in this country. We, we pursue principles, right? That's what we're supposed to be about. We don't anoint people, right? We don't coronate people. I've been saying this on Fox, Newsmax, CNN, because you know what? I'm in Iowa where there are people here who they take very seriously the job of choosing who the president will be through the caucus process. And I was just at multiple events with Ron DeSantis where he's shaking their hands and looking them in the eye while Donald Trump hangs out in his basement in Florida, afraid to actually debate. What's he afraid of? I, you know, look, I'm happy to debate him if he wants to anywhere. I'm just a little old congressman. Why won't he debate Ron DeSantis or any of the other candidates? I think he should. Why do you think he won't get on the debate stage with the other Republicans? Well, I mean, like I can tell you what Ron, from Ron DeSantis' perspective is because he would clean his clock. I mean, if you compare the records, they're not comparable. Ron DeSantis has done a phenomenal job in Florida. He stood up to the you know, tyrannical machine of the government when it shut down the greatest economy in the history of the world. We've racked up six to eight trillion dollars of debt since then as a result of the mismanagement that started in that last year of the uh, Trump administration. Uh, President Trump also failed to actually fully secure the border. If we'd gotten the policies in place, if he had worked with conservatives to get bills passed in 2018-19, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in right now where Joe Biden is leaving Texas fully exposed to have people running over our Border Patrol agents and our DPS. We had six kids in the district I live in, Caitlin, six kids who died from fentanyl poisoning last year. 300,000 apprehensions in November, on track for 300,000 in December. We should have stopped this years ago. President Trump could have done that if he would have led Congress to get something done. That didn't happen. I don't think he wants to debate that record. I don't think he wants to go you know, through every single issue that he's been a part of. And he knows that Governor DeSantis has done a phenomenal job in Florida. So you know, he doesn't show up well, to the on, debates. On Speaks immigration, I mean, on immigration specifically, we just played the soundbite yeah. of Trump tonight where he's again repeating this, this comment where he keeps saying that illegal immigrants are poisoning the blood of the country. He said destroying 
the blood of the country tonight in those comments. I mean, what do you make of the fact that the Republican frontrunner, because he is well ahead of Ron DeSantis right now, is using that kind of language, you know, when there is an issue on the border that Republican voters, and, and uh, most voters, but Republican voters care so much about? Yeah, well, first of all, I, I want to say one thing about the polls. Uh, polls do not uh, tell the story, right? They're supposed to reflect voter sentiment, not drive it. And that's too much of what's going on right now. The people of Iowa will decide in a month who they're going to select to be the president of the United States. With respect to that issue, let me just say something that's really important to me, okay, as a personal matter. I've gone to the border a lot. There are a lot of Hispanic children, okay, who are being abused, put into the sex trafficking trade, who are sitting in stash houses as we speak, like the father who is held to ransom by a, by a cartel for something like $28,000. A federal judge in the Northern District of Texas highlighted this in a case, and he said that they'd have to pay that money if they, so they wouldn't rape his daughter and his wife. That's, that's completely unacceptable for a country like ours to allow that to happen. A thousand migrants died along the Southwest border last year, many along the Rio Grande, many that are you know, dying in the Texas heat. 53 in San Antonio, Caitlin, in a tractor trailer in the Texas heat. What kind of compassion is that? We shouldn't be doing that and subjecting these people to the cartels. And we do you think that strong, the Republican frontrunners should be saying that they're poisoning the blood of the country? I mean, given what you just talked about, what these people are facing? I think the Republican, and I'm not going to characterize frontrunner because that's your poll speak, okay? I'm, I'm on Iowa, and I think the frontrunner is Ron DeSantis, okay? I think he's the guy that's okay, going to be at the top the of the ticket. But about the comment itself. Yeah. And so what, what I'll say about that is I think Republicans generally, whether it's Ron DeSantis or Donald Trump or anybody else, we should be talking about this in terms of what it means to humanity. I don't think we should be talking about, uh, you know, this issue from a perspective of, of uh, you know, blood or whatever the president said. What I think we should be saying is, is that there are human beings who are suffering. Americans, people and ranchers in South Texas, the children who died in my district, the moms that I meet with every day who are losing their loved ones to fentanyl, little girls, whether they're brown, white, black, doesn't matter, getting sold into the sex trafficking trade. Nobody in America cares about all of this divvying us up by race, which is a very sordid business, to quote the Supreme Court and John Roberts. So the bottom line is we should be doing our job to secure the border for our benefit and for the migrants who seek to come here legally. By the way, Donald Trump did very well in South Texas by standing up for a secure border, just like Ron DeSantis won 62% of the Hispanic vote after sending people to Martha's Vineyard, which totally shocked the system last fall and helped us retain the House in Republican hands. Congressman Chip Roy, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thanks, Caitlin. God bless. Merry Christmas.